Welcome to DIY Roofing Repairs with Bill. I'm Bill Reagan. Today we're going to be repairing another common roof leak, and it's a chimney leak. We're going to be sealing the bricks on a brick chimney. Before I get started, I always get all of my materials and tools and everything out to do the job so I only have to make as few trips up the ladder as I need to. All righty, we're ready. Before you seal a chimney, if there's a skylight in the area, you want to make sure and cover it with plastic. Some of these masonry water repellents will etch the glass. So cover up the skylights, don't let any of the sealer get on the glass. Not that the sealer hurts anything, but we're gonna catch as much of it as we can. It don't hurt the shingles because it's a water base, but it's real s slippery if you step on it. So we are ready to go. So what I'm wanting to do, I'm wanting to put three coats on here wet on wet. And what it'll do, that first coat is gonna just really soak in almost immediately. And then we'll come back around and the second coat's gonna soak in some third coat gonna soak in just a little. Most of it's gonna try and run off. So this is just a masonry water repellent. I've been using this same stuff since 1987 when I found out that uh, bricks are porous. So what we're doing is we're just trying to saturate it. Get all these mortar joints really good and saturated, which we've got a little bit I don't know if this thing's ever been sealed before or not. Just from the looks of the way it's running down, it could have possibly had some sealer on it before. I know when we get done with this coat, or when we get through sealing it, water's gonna run off of it like rain -X on glass. So if you look how the sealer is setting on top of the bricks, you can see it still and setting up on these ledges. This is just the first coat. Normally it would just suck that into it. That's what I'm thinking. Some point somewhere, this chimney may have been sealed 20 years ago, who knows. But obviously they had a problem with it back during the summer. Uh, it hadn't leaked in many years and it leaked this summer when we had like a four day rain. So that's why we're out here just putting another really, really good coat of sealer on it. Anytime I seal a chimney, I always start at the top because you want a minimum of a four inch run down in the beginning because later it's gonna run down even further. But you always start at the top and work your way down. What would be really good is if I could capture that and put in here, but I can't, so all of that's just wasted. You'll know this process is working because the second coat is not gonna soak in as well as that first coat did. Believe it or not, bricks and mortar are porous and they will absorb water. Now you can really see how this sealer is now sitting up on top of the mortar and on top of the bricks. It's pretty much soaked in about all it's gonna soak in. How it's sitting up on top of the bricks right here on these little let where the bricks are sticking out. What it's doing is soaking into that seam right there and that's what makes this waterproof. Keeps all these mortar joints waterproof. Can't put too much. When you get to where the bricks look like this and the bricks are that white, that means you're getting plenty on it. When I'm done sealing the bricks, I always <laughs> empty the remaining contents of the sealer back into the container and fill my sprayer up full of water. And then I rinse the roof off, even though it's a water-based product. It's not going to hurt the shingles. I just like to rinse everything off. It also helps me clean the sprayer out as well. So when it's all done, the thing dries, the only way you'll be able to tell that this chimney has been sealed is when it rains, the water will be beating up on it like a car that's just got a fresh, wa fresh wax job. So it's pretty cool. If I, I could write my name on the driveway out here in the concrete and you wouldn't know it, 
until it rains. As soon as it rained, it beat up where I've sprayed it. And when we're done. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you saw and want to learn how to do other types of roof repairs, click on the video above. Remember to subscribe so you never miss an episode of DIY Roof Repairs with Bill. We'll see you on the next one.